Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AEC Technical Specialist with Digital Drafting Systems. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use the Rotate and Align tools. To access our Rotate command, we need to go to the Modify panel in our ribbon and click on Rotate. Then we can select one or more objects and then press Enter. AutoCAD is asking us to specify a base point, so if we wanted to rotate the rectangle around its center, we just need to move to the edge of the rectangle and then select our center snap. Now we can rotate the rectangle all around. In order to turn this snap on, make sure that you go to your snaps dropdown. And these are the snaps that I like to turn on. I keep extension, nearest, and parallel off because they tend to interfere with one another and I only turn them on when I need to. Let's rotate the green rectangle so that it's parallel with the purple line. We can do this by rotating with a reference. So, Firstly, we should move our green rectangle so that a portion of it is touching the purple line. In this case, I'm going to move its bottom left corner to this end point right here. Then we can select our green rectangle and then we can select rotate. We could have selected rotate and then the green rectangle, so I just wanted to show you all that there's two different ways to begin using commands in AutoCAD. Now we can specify our base point, which will be this corner right here, and we could simply snap to this end point here but instead we're going to be using the reference command by either typing R or we can see in our command line right here, the word reference is available. And if you see a blue letter in the first letter of that command, that means that you can type that letter that corresponds with it. So let's click on reference. And now it's going to ask us to either specify a reference angle or to use two points to specify the reference itself. So I'm gonna be using this bottom left corner and this corner right here and now I'm using this as my reference instead of just rotating based on the point. So if I wanted to, I can rotate in a number of ways by using this reference point. Now I can simply select this line right here, and this rectangle is now parallel with this line. Now let's use the Align tool to align this red rectangle to this blue one. There's a few ways that we can use it. Firstly, you can find the Align tool by going to the Modify panel, clicking on the drop-down, and this is the Align tool right here. Let's click on it. We can select more than one object, but in this case, we want to align the red rectangle to this blue one. So we'll just select the red rectangle and then press enter. Then we need to specify our first source point. So what this means is we select a point from our red rectangle. And then after that, it asks us for our destination point. So the red rectangle will be going to the blue one. So our destination is right here. And then our second source point will be this corner to this corner right here. Now we could continue adding source points, but in this case, we only need two source points. So we're just going to click the enter key. Now it's going to ask us a very important question. Do we want to scale the objects based on the alignment points? And what this means is we could keep the shape and size of our red rectangle if we wanted to, or we can change its size overall, not just in this axis, but also in its width, if we said yes to this. First, we're going to say no, and let's see what it looks like. And so it aligned the rectangle to the first point. The second point was taken into account, but because we didn't scale the rectangle, it basically snapped to the first point, and then it just continued on. Now let's do that one more time. We're going to go back to modify, click on the align tool, and let's click on our red rectangle, press enter. We're going to specify our source point from here to here, and our second one from here to here and then we'll press enter. And now we're going to scale the object. And look at that, it not only got bigger on its long side, but its width also increased. This is basically scaling uniformly, so to speak. And so that's how you can use the align tool and you can quickly resize objects based on their destination. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial on rotating and aligning objects. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.